Um, don't worry, you are in the right spot. This is still a cooking channel. We are doing a series on DIY bacon, curing bacon at home. And in order to sort of finish that arc, we needed to be able to cold smoke our bacon. And up until this point, I've been cold smoking just in the barbecue, putting uh, one of those zigzag things that you put the sawdust or the, or the wood pellets in. And the barbecue sort of works okay. No problem with it. And then I looked at actually buying a full-on smoker that we could both cold smoke and hot smoke in. And I thought, eh, maybe, maybe sometime down the road we'll get to that. And I thought, in order to really make this completely DIY, I'd build my own little smoke box. Um, so this is a cold smoke box. It's made out of untreated four-quarter white pine. Um, I tried to get pine that didn't have too many knots in it. And I built it around a rack that we already had in the test kitchen, a rack that I thought would fit fairly nicely. And we've kept it kind of compact. So top to bottom, 36 inches. Uh, side to side, 17 or 18 inches. It'll fit three or four racks inside if we really want to make a lot of bacon. Uh, and then at the bottom, there is one of those little smoke mazes that you fill with uh, wood chips, sawdust, or in our case, we're using pellets. I've also put a digital thermometer uh, probe inside with the thermometer on the outside. And that's to ensure that we keep the temperature in the right range. Um, here in Canada, the recommendation from the government is under 30 degrees Celsius, which is 86 degrees Fahrenheit. And I know that from uh, the tests that I've done, I'd like to keep it below 80 degrees Fahrenheit at all times, which pretty much restricts us to smoking um, winter, spring, and fall. It's almost too hot today to smoke the bacon. I also haven't put any vent holes in this yet, but as you can see the wisps of smoke coming out, there's quite a few cracks. Uh, it's very rustic. Quite a few cracks, quite a few crevices, a lot of holes. The smoke is going to escape. It's going to hold enough smoke um, to get us where we want to be, but it's still going to breathe enough that I don't think I'm going to need to put smoke holes in it. And we're also going to smoke the bacon probably for two to three hours only. I found so far in our experiments that two to three hours gives me the right amount of smoke flavor for what I'm looking for. Um, anytime that we're going to smoke longer, uh, I think think this will still work, but um, we haven't got there yet. But as you can see, it does build up quite a bit of smoke inside. So now that I've got it built, um, I'm going to smoke it to season the insides. I'm going to smoke it for three or four hours just to season the insides with a, with a good coating of that smoke, and then we'll get the bacon in and start smoking it. So come on back and, uh, and take a look at our bacon series. Thanks for stopping by.